matter how hard I try, I'm just always getting distracted. A script unwritten, a book untouched, and a video unfilmed. Cause I spent that time doom scrolling. But what if I told you that there's a way out? That technology doesn't have to be the reason you're stuck in a cycle of non-productivity. After a year of testing methods to enhance my productivity, I finally landed on a system that took zero effort to successfully implement. Behold, e-ink. The fuck is this? Good question. E-ink is technology that uses electricity to pull charged particles upward so they come together to display, well, stuff. Unlike the LED-based tech of regular smart devices, e-ink is sucky, it's laggy, and just looks boring. Which is exactly why I love it. Don't worry, I'll show you why. Today, I'll give you guys a tour on the three e-ink devices that I use as my daily driver, and why they might be the next piece of tech you should consider investing in. Let's start with the device that gave me the biggest productivity gains, the Highbreak Pro. This device replaced my older smartphone and has given me two hours of productivity back daily. The phone runs on Android 14, so I can still run important work apps such as Teams or Notion. I do also have social media apps downloaded so I can scratch my short form content itch, but as you can see, it gets pretty boring after a few minutes. Wait, what the f are you watching? It's been proven that psychologically, the flashy colors of social media are designed to trigger your brain's dopamine receptors. So when everything's grayscale, it's less engaging. And as a result, my time on my phone has decreased drastically from three hours per day to just one hour per day. And since this is still a phone, it actually comes with a lot of the standard quality of life features that most smartphones come with, such as 5G, tap to pay ability, fingerprint recognition, and all that jazz. The 18 watt charging means that if I forget to charge it overnight, I can still get up to roughly 50% in 45 minutes. But for now, let's just leave it on the charger. It's time to script my next video. Don't you need a laptop for that? Yeah. Ooh, does Mr. Fancy Pants got an ink laptop? Oh yeah. This is my dedicated e-ink tablet, the Books Note Max. It's a two-in-one laptop tablet hybrid that's pretty much my creative and personal development center. In the mornings, I love using it to read and journal. The screen finish combined with a metal tip stylus pen actually makes it feel like I'm writing on actual paper which gives those journaling sessions an extra cozy feel. When it's time for me to do some video work like scripting or shot listing, this tablet easily converts into a laptop with this keyboard folio case. The five pin system easily snaps in place and the tablet becomes a comfortable workstation. At 13.3 inches, this tablet actually mimics the size of a standard sheet of paper, giving plenty of space to split screen if desired. The book's ecosystem is actually pretty well streamlined so much so that I actually have another tablet. The books go 10.3. It's a super thin e-ink tablet at 2.3 millimeters thick, which makes it really convenient hey, for- that's not thin, that's average. Which makes it really convenient for me to take while traveling or if I just want something lighter to hold for longer reading sessions. So I've piqued your interest to venture into e -ink but there are a lot of options out there. So how do you choose? Some big players in this space include Remarkable, Books, Big Me, and of course, Amazon. And each brand has an entire catalog of devices. So how do I pick the one that I need? Just ask yourself three questions. Really? That's it? Yep. Question one, do you want something that just reads, just writes, or both? Devices like the famous Remarkable tablets are pretty much made only to take notes and not much else. So, it's important to figure out each device's capabilities. Two, do you want black and white or color displays? Yes, some e-ink tablets have the capability to produce colors. Of course, that does also increase the price tag. And three, will you be using your device in low light settings? For example, my Highbreak phone has a front light for when I'm laying in bed, whereas my books tablets don't since I'm never working in a non-lit environment. Hopefully these three questions helped narrow down your search. 
Additionally, there are YouTube channels dedicated solely to the reviews and comparisons of e-ink devices, such as Kit Betts Masters, Brandon Boswell, and Shalid Rakimi, all of whom I have watched before getting my e-ink devices. If you enjoyed the cinematic experience on my e-ink productivity system, please give a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and as always, see you in the next film.